Praise be to Jesus. Let us pray. St. Michael, you are our defender and safeguard against evil. Place your shield of truth over us and defend us in the battle which Satan wages against truth. Help us to see the righteous path of holy love. Clarify our choices between good and evil by placing us always behind your shield of truth. Amen. Hi everyone, Charles with you here on a Monday morning. The Vatican spokesman Greg Burke and his deputy resigned suddenly Monday amid an overhaul of the Vatican's communications operations that coincided with a troubled period in Pope Francis's papacy. In a tweet, Burke said he and his deputy, uh, Paloma Garcia Ovajero, had resigned effective January 1st. Francis accepted the resignation Monday, the Vatican said in a statement. At this time of transition in Vatican communications, we think it's best the Holy Father is completely free to assemble a new team, Burke wrote. He and Garcia both thank the Pope. A stage is ending. Thank you for these two and a half years, Garcia tweeted. Francis named the longtime member of the Vatican's communications operations, Ale Alessandro Sotti, as an interim replacement. The Pope has recently overhauled the Vatican's media operations for the second time by ousting the longtime editor of the Vatican newspaper, El Observatore Romano, and naming a new director of editorial content for all Vatican media, the Italian journalist Andrea uh, Torinelli. And I think. Um, uh, if I remember correctly, um, he, um, um, well, we'll just say he's a modernist. The resignation clearly took the new team by surprise. The head of Vatican Communications, uh, Paola Ruffini, said he had learned of the decision by Burke and Garcia and respected it. He praised their professionalism and said he had full confidence uh, in Gisotti who had been a longtime journalist with Vatican Radio and more recently had been head of the social media for the Vatican. The year ahead is full of important appointments that will require maximum communications efforts, Rolfini said in a statement. It was perhaps a reference to Francis's high-stakes summits on preventing clergy sex abuse in February, as well as his multiple foreign trips planned for 2019, Panama, United Arab uh, Emirates, Morocco, Bulgaria, and Macedonia in the first half of the year, and rumored trips to Madagascar and Japan in the second half. Francis also has to deal with continued fallout from the clergy abuse scandal in Chile, the U.S., and beyond. The next year, we'll likely see the outcome of a canonical investigation into ex-Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, accused of sexual abusing minors and adult seminarians, as well as the result of a Vatican investigation into McCarrick's rise through church ranks. Burke, then a Fox TV correspondent in Rome, was hired as a communication advisor for the Vatican Secretary of State in 2012. At the time, the papacy of Pope Benedict XVI had suffered a series of communication blunders, and it was thought that Burke could provide guidance. And that's what there is. Oh, let's see here. There's a little more. In 2015, Burke was named deputy spokesman under the Reverend Federico Lombardi, a Jesuit. When Lombardi retired in 2016, Burke became main spokesman and was joined by Garcia, the first woman to ever hold a position of deputy. 
Garcia had been the Vatican correspondent for uh, Cardina Cope, the Spanish broadcaster. Well, that's what there is to the article. So, well, what's really behind this? Uh, you know, I, I would have no idea. It doesn't really say anything about it. But uh, for sure, there'll be some speculation about what's going on here. So, you know, especially since it was a sudden thing. Uh, so we'll follow this story, and if it, you know, if there's anything interesting about it, uh, we'll make another video of it. So that's it for right now, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.